Hey, I got him on right. <laughs> what are you playing? Oh, hey, I know, I know that one. I know that one. How I love the kisses of Dolores Till I found out she was Morris. <laughs> on my note. My buddy Kent here just joined Bachelors Anonymous. It's a great club. Whenever you feel like getting married, you call a member and he sends over a woman in a torn bathrobe, curlers in her hair, and grease all over her face. <laughs> the sweetest sounds I've ever heard or have a drink on me. <laughs> you stick that in. Ken? Yeah. I guess I'm going to leave you now. Before I go, uh, you think about this. You show me a man who is filthy rich, and I'll show you a wealthy hippie. <laughs> Come and see in here. Yeah. Annie, my baby. Worried about you. Mama, what's the matter? Oh, I've been so worried. I was up all uh, night. Mrs. Lane, why are you worried? Oh, you. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. You're that Italian boy, Marvin, who sings on my Kenny show. <laughs> Kenny, I am so worried about you. Now that you're such a big star, a television show of his own, you'll be meeting a lot of girls, members of the opposite. The opposite. Sex? You're an animal. <laughs> what, what's the matter with the word sex? Marvin, in front of Penny, we do not, and I repeat, not use four letter words like S E dash X. <laughs> My baby, I've got to tell you the facts of life. I, I can't put it off any longer. Why? Did, did somebody get his teddy bear in trouble? <laughs> Man, Mrs. Lane, you're going to tell him the facts of life here, right now? It's better he hears it from me than he picks it up from people who hang around pianos. <laughs> hey, he'll never hear anything from me. I come from a strict home. When all the other kids were playing doctor, I was playing dentist. <laughs> should be seen, not heard. <laughs> the main thing to remember, dear, is love doesn't have to be cheap or rotten, no. Love can be beautiful, except maybe with your father. <laughs> See, Kenny, when two people are mutually attracted to each other, there's a whole chemical reaction. Uh, Mrs. Lane. I'm not now, Marvin, I'm rolling. <laughs> Someday you're gonna meet a wonderful girl, heaven forbid. <laughs> and you and that girl are gonna want to live together. Oh, no, Ma. I just got my own room. <laughs> Your mother's right, Ken. There's a lot more exciting things in life than sneaking down to the A&P and sniffing cantaloupes. <laughs> Don't make sarcastic, Marvin. Remember the old saying, if you break a mother's heart from this show, you can depart. <laughs> now, what was it? Then? The facts of life are as follows. A boy and a girl meet. They fall in love. They get married. They leave the church. And that's when it happens. What's that? They go to visit his mother. <laughs> now, I don't want to be late for my chiropractor's appointment. But before I go, I want you to play that song that I love. And Marvin, <coughs> cough, baby. If you want, you can sing. But remember that somebody might be listening. All right. <laughs> Climb upon my knees, honey boy. Does he play beautiful, huh? Believe me, it was worth every penny to have his fingers straightened. <laughs> Boy, only three, sonny boy. You think he's good now? Just wait a few years till his feet reach the pedals. <laughs> you know we have no one there, no way of showing what you mean to me, 
Sonny boy. Not too loud, Marvin. Remember, you wouldn't even be on the show if Kenny didn't need a token Italian. <laughs> Me. He looks so nice. It breaks my heart when I think someday his hair is gonna turn dark. <laughs> Let them all forsake me. I'll still have you, Sonny Boy. Never mind the facts of life, Kenny. You should never use your hands for anything but the piano. <laughs>